G'day guys, I'm Dr. James Simcock here, I'm just doing a short story on um, a condition which I've seen a few cases of in the last uh, few weeks. Um, this is for our YouTube members, um, and so um, just part of the work we're doing to just provide some clinical updates, a bit of background information and, and a bit of insight into what we're doing here. So the condition that we um, are looking at here is avascular necrosis of the femoral um, head and neck. And it's a condition that we don't know all the information about in terms of why it happens and, and those kind of things. But what we think is going on is that there's disruption to the fairly fragile blood supply to the femoral head and neck, and that results in necrosis and, and damage to the articular cartilage and the subchondral bone in the femoral head. And if we have a look here, we've got x-rays um, of a pug um, that's about nine months old, and we can see the normal hip on this side here. And on the right hip, you can see that there's this very... Um, abnormal looking femoral head, a lot of sclerosis in here in this kind of um, flattened and irregular surface of the, the femoral head. So this is a case that I saw today, that was a nine month old pug. And then this one over here, well, just get the contrast better, is another um, pug actually that I saw and have been working up over the last probably two or three weeks in a very similar kind of appearance to that femoral head and neck. And I guess it's interesting because these dogs were both referred for possible hip dysplasia and immediately my kind of spidey senses went off when they referred for that because um, pugs and, and bulldog breeds generally, while they can have very bad hips, they often don't have very severe clinical signs. And both of these dogs had um, a very pronounced lameness and, and very focal pain related to the, the hip joint. Um, so it's an interesting disease um, and one that we obviously do see every now and then and then one to have your kind of wits about you when you're looking for. The third case I saw was actually another dog which had um, very, very subtle changes on x-ray. There was just a very, very... Um, minor uh, defect in the in the femoral head and we actually took that dog to CT and we could see some more obvious changes on the CT scan um, and so that was the third case of the three over the last three weeks. Um, and the way that we treat this, <clears throat> typically medical management, so the strategies we use for medical management of arthritis are not very effective, so NSAIDs and pain relief and, and um, nutraceutical medications, those things generally don't have much impact. So what we're often looking at is a surgical intervention. So one option would obviously be to do a femoral head and neck excision. That gets rid of the problem. Um, the other option that we've got is to do a total hip replacement. So this is um, some x-rays of the um, dog that we operated this week, the pug. Um, and this is his acetabulum. It's a cemented implant system. Um, and that's his um, femoral stem in there. Um, so it obviously looks a little bit different to the one over there. So that is um, the condition of the day. Um, femoral head and neck um, avascular necrosis. Um, I hope you enjoy these little videos and a bit of insight. Um, it's Friday afternoon in Australia, so we're about to knock off. So I hope you have a great weekend. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.